Hello everyone and welcome back to exactly where we left off actually. I'm just waiting on the goddamn men at arms. Ah, boring lads. Come on lads. We can get it done. Come on. Come on. Move a bit faster. I just want to get my troops in here. So they... Uh... Huh. Oh, because that war ended. Uh, I actually don't have any more... Well, actually, did anybody have siege engines in this war? Camels? Oh, you, he's he's getting uh, siege engines. Um, why do you have camels? Why? Why did it, who who came up with the idea that that bringing camels up here in the north would be a good idea? I've I I saw them. Learning park available. Yeah, no, somebody in here has camels. Not you, not you, you. You have camels. Baranis. Okay. But why? But why? Why would you have camels? In here. Also, um, we need nine more years to get Theologian. That's gonna be the fourth, the fourth perk. What the fuck? <laughs> we might actually get a four perks. Like four, uh, what do you call these? Not that. August. Lifestyle trait. Yeah, that's, that's kind of wild. Not gonna lie. Also ten days, come on, just a bit more. Just a bit, just a smidge more. Margarita. Let's go. Let's -a go, let's -a go. Yeah, we going. Hold on my ally. I'm not calling anybody in. Shut up. I just need to wait until... Oh, for fuck's sake. How long is it going to take for you? How long is it going to take for you to get in here? 26 goddamn days. A scandal. Now everyone knows. Well, they can know. They can know, but they can't actually do shit about it. Mm. Anyway. I'm just waiting. For 20 something days, so they can get in there. They should have been in here for a while, but hey. But hey, what can you do? Uh, huh. Good lads. Good lasses. Good. Walls intact. Assault fort. Well, it's gonna be going down in six days anyway, so who cares? But yeah. No breaches. Okay. You. This band. This instant. And let's finish off the Teutons. Which means... Theoretically... Uh, that means we can actually... Interesting stuff. But... Let's see. Grand titles. Grand that island. And... Not, va not any vassals. Good. What's wrong with the title? What's wrong with the... What's wrong, like, what's wrong with our title? Like, shouldn't it be stretching all across here? Because it does that when you zoom in, when you zoom in. But not when you zoom out, which is weird. You'd think that's when, that's when you'd like it to be that huge. Because you, you want to see it on the map. But maybe when you zoom out, it's supposed to be, like, way bigger. No, because it's a long title. It, it should stretch across this, right? Right? There's no reason not to. Maybe you need to get... Maybe I, I would need to get this land to make the font bigger. That's weird. Like, it, it can be big when you're zoomed in, but not when, you, not when you're zoomed out. Like, how does that make sense? It's weird. It's weird. Uh, you. I'm not, I can't declare war on you, but I can declare war on you. Uh, I get that county, the, that duchy. It grows strong and noise. Yeah, get this duchy. Or declared on her. And we are, again, absolutely pissing on her head. Stop being rivals. Yes, let us. Sacred, okay. Yeah, no, just 
find the answers, like, who cares about the body? Ooh, no, 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 no. Enough. Yeah, come on. There's a difference between not giving a shit about the fact that it's just a body, and, you know, dissecting a body, and uh, actually going looking f to make more bodies. Well, I guess I, I guess it wouldn't necessarily be us making more bodies, it's just find ones in fresh graves, which, f fun fact, actually happened in England for like a century or so. Like, universities would be like, hey, we need bodies to, you know, learn, to figure out biology and shit, and medicine. Actually, at hospitals, they would have, uh, like, uh, rooms, like, rooms dedicated, like, theaters dedicated to, dedicated to stuff like that. To autopsy, autopsies. Eh? What is this? Which one am I losing? Who you? Defend Empire. What? Why? Why am I fighting you? Attacking... Um... I'm sorry. Why am I fighting you? Since when? What's going on? War started four years ago. Okay, I think I'm inheriting a war, actually. Maldives, partial. Well, you're gonna have an absolute... Like, okay, you're not gonna enjoy what's about to come to you. Um, raise all armies. In here. Like, right now. It's probably gonna be too late, but I'm willing to give it a try. I don't really want to make the journey from uh, mainland anything. But come on. It's gonna take a while. Let's see, how, how can I make it in time? Probably not. More soldiers gathering army. Is that uh, how much? Okay, 11 days. So, uh, ooh, available. available. Let me see. Earning respect. Hmm. You know, I could get octogenarians. Earning respect is a thing. Yeah, that's too late. Enemy war leader captured. Okay. So be it. You know what? Because I'm smart, I'll just do this. Who can I hire? Which one of you can I hire? Uh, none of you, actually. Mercenaries, then. Varangian Guard. Well, that's annoying. Macedonian Phalanx. You. Or whatever name that is. You're all together. And you'll make it here. To the Maldives. Like right now. Don't even want to know what the what horrifying path you're going to take. I was expecting you to like raise in the Maldives. But you are not. So good luck. Deal with it. Actually, I can just call people to war. Okay. How am I, um... You. Get in on here. Get in on this. You. Get in on this. You. Get in on this. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Of course. Call my ally. Duchy of Northumbria. I don't care. Don't want to. Okay, so interestingly, they just decided to attack me, just like that. Makes sense, I mean, I was clearly getting for an invasion. But, um, don't remember, I don't remember getting that, any notification for that. But oh well, who cares. Who cares. Now let's see, what does this war look like? That should be enough, right? I'm gonna stop the villain behind this. Rest in peace. Rest in pieces, if you will. 
Uh, you are not gonna bend the knee, which is annoying, but I can move the flag down here. And, well, actually I can move the flag to here. That's probably gonna be the best, right? And, let's raise all men at arms in here. Also, how's the war with Ireland? Who's involved? We have 38 lads against 22,000. Oh, we should be fine. We should be fine. And we have, like... Uh, no, we definitely have this. It's fine, it's fine. Not an issue. The lads will just take care of it. The problem is this war. Like the current war. 53 days. Yeah, just, just get it done. The problem is the war with the fucking Indians. Like, I was not, I was not preparing for it. Like I was preparing, but not, you know, ready. I didn't actually like. I was making moves in the region to basically, eventually, like, like to, with the goal of eventually going for them. But I wasn't actually, you know, about to go to go in. Yeah, I wasn't ready. Like, it's, uh... It's basically like sending nukes to, Cu to Cuba in preparation for a possible nuclear war. You don't, you're not about to push the button, but, you know, you're getting ready in case you need to. You want an advantage. But yeah, um... <laughs> Hmm. I've lost some. I need some more. Sahara. Sahara, Sahara, Sahara. You were the one that I. Right? No. More land. Somewhere in, on the map. I've gained more land. Uh, you. Down here. Ah. Okay. Oh, yeah. You. you. I remember now. I remember who I was fighting and why. Caucasus. Caucasus, you can have it. Have that. There. Done. I wonder when they're gonna get here. Not one day too soon. Yeah, I wonder when uh, somebody's actually gonna be getting any anywhere close to this place. Ah, fuck. You lads should have been moving together for like, from the start, but hey. And you should actually have her in charge. Now go. Family members can get married. You, they can do whatever the fuck they want. Don't care. Hmm. You get lost. Donald, how are you? How are you doing? Do I still have the truce? Yeah, I still have the truce. Adriana, sure, sure, sure. Now we just have to wait. Just have to wait. And we go in. Honestly, there, is, there was genuinely no point in having the mercenaries. How? Where are the mercenaries, actually? You lads. Where are you at? He is actually in this... They're making it. They're moving in. Wow. The Mercs actually... Crossed, like... Half... What? Is it half the map or is it more? Nah, it's, it's half the map, I'd say... Just about. Because uh, Constantinople is not exactly in the center of the map. And uh, this is not exactly on the edge of the map. I'd say, yeah, there's just half the map. Give or take. Give or take a bit. Mm. Again, lost my steward. Should not be doing that. I need my steward. Maldives. Actually, I want, I want Maldives. Faith in... Yeah, get that done. Same in here. Culture. Tamil. Get it, get it to be Greek. It's always good. Have Greek culture. And... Apparently we're already done. We're already done. Wow. Boris. I did crush them. I did stomp on their fucking heads. And would you look at that? That's what having... Mercenaries and... Oh, that's mercenaries, I suppose, so... 
Just men autonomous and mercenaries. That's what we have in this army. I don't like the fact that we have any levies, but I can't really decide what sort of troops the mercenaries bring, can I? So yeah, that's a, that's a high rank army. That's a very good army. Also? Also. You dumb fuck. Well, no, it's not you. Wait, who am I fighting? It's some nobody that's... Okay, I'm not... I'm not even fighting you. If I was fighting him, I'd be like, yeah, sure. But I'm not fighting this kid. Also, this kid, okay. This kid has a big-ass army. That's actually a, d a decent army. I might be worried about that. Well, I would, but I probably... Sh I'm not. I'm not at all. Also, that's a interesting one. I mean, those are the flags, huh? That's what the, flag the flags look like. You... You, how much, how big is your art? Four, five thousand, that's not, that's horrible. How's Ireland doing? Okay, game, okay, game. Uh, we're winning in Ireland, obviously. Uh, Alba, actually, I can't actually, I can't declare war on Alba. Because if I declare war on Alba, I'd have to fight in myself, which is, you know, something I try to avoid. Because, uh... I don't have a border with Alba at all. Like, anywhere on the map. Yeah, you get done. Don't even know what you are doing. Like, what? Why were you trying anything like that? Disband all. But, yeah, that's uh, that's good. You. Declare war. Conquer Dochi. Vespia, bro. Okay, you have a lot of land. Uh, not that. Not that. Not that. That. That's probably the best one, actually. Declare war and... And, 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 and... Yeah, just stupid amounts of allies. Uh, you. You're Hellenic again. Would you stop being Hellenic, you sa fucking savages? How dare you? Go find a different fate. Honestly, annoying. Can't even get that one county? Really? Why not? What? Why the fuck? Oh, uh, is it because it's an ally? Yeah, that's an ally. Not bad. Dutch. Ah, oh, fuck off. Yeah, two and 24 allies, it's fine. Dutchy here. Get it done. Don't care. Piety just lost a bit. It's oh, not really that important. And I I need to look for people that are not to my faith. Apparently. Tangri, you. It's your fault, really. Hmm. Oh, it's weird. I, I'm looking for people that are not my faith. Not to declare wo holy wars on them. Because that it has like that's the opposite of what I want. Oh, for fuck's sake! In that case, uh, no. Uh, who am I supposed to declare war on? That's this may genuinely be an issue. The fact that I can't actually declare war on people because I don't have that as an option. <laughs> I don't make enough. I don't have enough piety to get that done. But... Kankardachi. Yeah, if we, if we keep on beating on this kid, eventually it's gonna work. Learning park available. Let the traitor be known to all. I don't care. Prophet. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, we're about to get Theologian. Well, not, not currently. But, like, we're definitely gonna get Theolo... Uh, I'd say four more years, but that's... Well, like, that, that's totally possible. That's well within reason. For her 80s. Wow, she is an absolute badass. Zoe might be the most badass character we've had so far. Which is weird to say, because... We didn't really have anything happen with her. Like, Zenon was in deep shit, then we fixed it. 
and everybody after that was basically the same story, just either uninteresting uh, or we were in dipshit because of, of the succession or something that happened with the former rulers and we fixed it because we had to. But Zoe's, like, she came at the end of a very, very bad part of our, uh, of our uh, campaign. Her father finished pretty much all of, like, everything that had to be done. She, like, he put everybody in their place, more or less. And she had to go through, like, just go in and execute a bunch of, a bunch of people as a child. Which, again, not the best situation for her to be in. But, um... But... She pacified everybody. Avoided a civil war. Relatively easy. Uh, I say relatively easy. Like, it was dangerous, but still... Well within reason. It wasn't... Like, there wasn't a moment where I was like... I'm, we're about to declare... We're about to lose. We're about to get... We're about to get... A civil war happen. Like, it, I was worried for a moment, but I wasn't... Like, my cheeks were not clenched, basically. There was no, no moment like that. Where I was genuinely worried I might have to go through another civil war, or another round of civil wars. The threat was there, but it wasn't... It wasn't imminent, really. It wasn't about to happen, I, and we barely avoided it. It was, was most, it was mostly just a... A case of, uh, huh? Turning troubles? Yeah. Like, it was mostly a matter of just, okay, this could happen if we let it get worse. Don't let it get worse, and we didn't let it get worse, so everything's fine. Also, uh, no, never mind. Um, so, yeah, she basically didn't too much, did she? Like, it didn't, no, nothing incredibly insane happened. Nothing groundbreaking, nothing that would change the world. It was just a matter of slowly but surely, well, slowly but surely, yeah, slowly but surely getting more stuff. Demand conversion, might accept. Uh, grand titles, this. Fuck you. I accept. Weak hook. I'm fine with that. Have a hook. I don't want to you I don't want my despots to be the wrong religion, you know? That's that's a recipe for disaster. Cause they hate my ass. Differences in faith. Uh, they will pray to the gods. You not Greek. No, I don't I don't care if you're Greek or not. I care if you're not Hellenic. Demand conversion, might accept. And of course the game, like I said, the game is just a pain in the ass when it comes to converting people. Especially in the character finder. Like, the bigger you are, the worse it is. Genuinely. I only wish for the salvation. I'm willing to trade a couple of favors for this. To get this done. Because the Inquisition, the Inquisition is a pain. But from here... Where to next? Hmm. Let's go against these lads. It's an idea. It is an idea. An idea I kinda like. How do we could go against these lads? Yeah, hook. Good kid. Good kid. Allegiance War. Yeah, yeah. You do your thing. And Duke. Honestly, some of them are not even hating my ass that bad, so... I guess, was whatever, but still. But she, she is absolutely hating us. Zealous, yeah, that would explain it. Offensive war. Yeah, she is a uh, part of, a uh, Long reign. Yeah, long reign is kind of what's keeping us in good shape right now. I might have to get troll back on the Inquisition before we die. And hopefully weather the storm of succession, then get back on it and deal with stuff. 
Oh, oi, oi, oi. Who the fuck do you think you are? Yeah. You get that. 11 months. That's good. That's good. Uh huh. Yeah, that might be a thing, huh? I don't particularly like that idea. But I can't. I don't can't say I have a choice, can I? Zerontion. You gain a beast. What? 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 Oh, the Theod Oh, we can make the Theodosian walls. I did not even re realize that was an option. Fair enough. Wall towers. Yeah. Uh, obese. Can you. Can we train? Right. Call hunt. Donate the chest. Tourist. Eh? Why did we gain obese? Y yes, but why did we gain obese? And how do I get it fixed? I know there's a way. Don't lie to me, game. I know there's a way. Zeus is generous. Of course he is. Especially with his seed. Okay, was that a bit too on the nose? Ah, yeah, that was not funny. That was a bit too on the nose. My bad. My bad. Okay. Above the main limit doesn't matter. Does not matter. It doesn't make a difference. Now, we could declare war on Alba, but he's Hellenic and Irish. <laughs> lads, lads, what you doing here? Oh, just Hellenic lads. Uh, this war is gonna get done eventually. Eventually. Might take time. All, of, all three of these wars. But yeah, apparently I miss. Uh, I underestimated how much. Of a hassle, like how, how bad this is gonna be to actually maintain war constantly. Because this is kind of a pain, not gonna lie to you. Yeah, duchy. Counties? Even counties are too much for me. Bloody bullshit. Uh, I'm gonna have to look for people that are not Hellenics and. And what? From here? Yeah, these are all Hellenic. They're literally all Hellenic. They all pray to Zeus, which is not helpful to me. Come on, game, you know you can you know you want more faith than that. I never I never actually thought that having a stupidly big faith and just expanding beyond my own borders would be a problem. Uh, uh, peace protector. No, no, just keep it. But yeah, it's uh, it's not really helpful, is it? I can't declare war on people that are not that are my religion. Well, I can. It just it takes piety. Rightful ownership, yeah, that's that keeps great also 590 counties. We're just growing at, at ridiculous speeds, honestly. And I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. And we're going to hit 2000 uh, counties on Hellenic, which is great, just beautiful, just beautiful, really. Again, yeah, it curves, it curves weirdly, doesn't it? The empire it curves as if. Oh, does it want to go like something like this, like this or something? Like, why would you? I guess. So in that case, you'd think maybe this would be in the way. There's there's something somewhere. Do it. Do it. Who cares? But yeah, there's something in the way of this title being so big, being as big as it can be. And I'm thinking it's either gonna be Mordvinia or something in here. Oh no, it can't be something in here, right? I'm, think I'm thinking it has to be uh, Mordvinia, right? But it's not really in the way, like, it could be way bigger. Whatever. Uh, Damot. How you like still? You're doing your thing. 
as you always are. Can I get? Can I buy press? Can I buy piety? Found holy order. No, I need people piety for that. Well. Uh. Wait. I just realized something. I think I know how to do this. I think I know how to how to get something out of this. Okay. Let's commission an epic. Time to start composing. He could get it done. She could get it done. Yeah, he could get it done. He he like our husband. A our husband is actually a scholar. So. He is apparently an accomplished storyteller, so fair enough. Uh, call for a hunt, sound the horn, search for a physician, get it done. Arrogant. Or more renown, piety. Piety, piety, piety. It's not enough, I know that it, you don't get enough piety out of that to actually make it worthwhile. But, rise of the mum... Well, would you look at that? A new, le a new leader, Kagan Temujin, has risen up amongst the scattered tribe of the steppes and declared himself the Genghis Khan, ruler of the, the ruler of the universe. With a vast tribal army, he has declared war for overlordship of the entire steppe and then the entire world. Conquer the conquer the world. He is free to try. Uh, I kind of feel bad for Temujin. If like if he came in like a century earlier, he might have actually been, you know, a threat, or I might have actually given a shit. But those, the, like, as things stand, I don't think I actually care. Hunt, rude vassals. Yeah, where who, who where is Temujin? Where is Temujin? Temujin, uh, Genghis Khan. Fuck, it's not Temujin anymore, it's Genghis Khan, but where the fuck is he? He should be somewhere on the map, you'd think. Oh, here. He has 31,000. You know what, that's not bad, that's, that's, a, that's a fight. That's a fight, it's just not, not enough of a fight. I'm pretty sure he's about to invade Mongolia and get it done, so... Yep. He's Greatest of Khans, which gives him Diplomacy plus 2, Martial plus 2, Stewardship plus 1, Prowess plus 2, Natural Dread plus 50, Dread Decay minus 25%, Vassal Limit plus 20. Nice, I'd love to have that, actually. Uh, same Culture Opinion plus 10, Hostile Scheme Resistance plus 25, Enemy, Hostile Scheme Resistance, chat. Hostile scheme success chance minus twenty percent. Yeah, the Great Khan. The Great Khan has been proclaimed the Great Khan. This this character has been proclaimed the Great Khan, the rightful successor of to the Khan of Khans. Natural dread plus thirty, dread decay minus fifty, vast limit plus fifty. Okay, that's kind of broken. Not gonna lie. Hostile scheme resistance chance plus plus twenty. Enemy hostile scheme success chance minus fifteen. House House Borgian, command me. Um, level of splendor legendary from the very start. Okay, yeah, it's uh, it's Genghis Khan. It's just straight up Genghis Khan. Hagan Temujin, Master of Hunters, Master Hunter, Open Terrain Expert, Flexible Leader, Brilliant Strategist, Callous, Diligent, and Ambitious. Yeah, that checks out. That, that just about checks out. Um, five kids already. That's neat. I'm curious. I'm genuinely curious about what's what he's gonna do because he has thirty thousand dudes, which, mind you, it's nowhere near enough to actually taking us out. And I don't think he can actually get stronger. Like, 
the thing is, he has, like, these are special troops, special soldiers, meaning they'll die, like, uh, when he, when he, you know, dies, these guys go with him. He, he loses, like, he's not gonna, not gonna pass on the soldiers to his successor, and I'm not sure, like, I don't think, I don't think they regenerate, if, if memory serves, I'm not sure if they regenerate, but if, it, if they do, I'm pretty sure the, their maximum, um, the maximum amount they can regenerate to, if they even can, is 30,000, meaning he has 1,939 of his own troops, right? No, actually, no. 30 so 31 something thousand. Okay, so maybe I'm wrong about this. Maybe he's, uh, yeah, he's attacking Mongolia, as I said, as I was expecting. He's going to beat some people. But yeah, Kagan Temujin, interesting lad. Should keep an eye on him. Uh, you, I want to declare warning, by the way. Conquer Dachi. I could just conquer, conquer that county, actually, instead. Oyo, Hamal, where are you at? That one. Ah, so bullshit, so stupid. Ignore her then, doesn't matter. But yeah, Kagan Temujin, he is here. He is gonna take Mongolia. But I'm genuinely curious, like... What next? Because... He's never gonna be able to conquer me. Like, I don't think he can even take a piece of land out of me. Because normally he'd be able to declare, like, to declare a Mongol invasion. And I think he can, de like, he can declare... Like, once against an enemy. So if, if, like... It's basically a lifetime thing, but it's a lifetime for his enemies. So, like... If he declares a Mongol invasion of Mongolia, he takes Mongolia. And whatever, whatever, it's basically just an invasion in Cassa's belly, but it's special in, it's not limited to his life, he doesn't get to do that once in his life, but he gets to do it, like, once per enemy, like, once per target. So he targets her, and takes, like, say, Almost everything, but has one small county here that he doesn't take. Well, he cannot declare another invasion to take that one county. It's basically a kingdom invasion, but it's limited by your target, if I'm not mistaken. I might be, probably am, but I think that's how it works, if memory serves. So if he declares, say, a Mongol invasion on me, and he takes, say, all this land here. He's not going to be able to declare another invasion and take the rest of this or any any other bit, really. So, I'm... I don't know. I don't know. Also, how is this war looking? It still look it, like it doesn't look as good for him as you'd think because of the mods I'm using. Yeah, just doesn't matter. It's money. Time and money, it doesn't matter. Just pay for it. Wait time. So, yeah, I, I guess we have the Mongols on the map. Just ready to kick ass. And, oh, wait. Could Temujin actually be a blessing in disguise? In disguise, because I was, I, I was thinking th about this uh, when he first appeared. But, like, couldn't he say, take all of the the riffraff all, all around the place like expand into this region where we are technically not allowed to be like where like see here outside of the border of the empire he could take he could uh, take all of this and same with here and basically inst like force them to be tangri like install himself as a tangri ruler Therefore, making all this land Tangri, meaning well, the land, the people, the peasantry, 
maybe not be, may not be Tengri, but the rulers will. So all of this land could be a target for actual war and would make things easier for me. Huh, interesting. Temujin, Temujin, Temujin. I'll have to watch his career with uh, with quite a bit of interest. I might, I must say. But yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to pay attention to him, because he might do some interesting stuff. You know, with a bit of luck, he's actually gonna expand up to our borders, and then just around our borders, and then that that honestly be the best case scenario for me. I don't. I don't think he's actually gonna try to attack us, right? He might, but I don't. I don't think he would, right? It'd be stupid if he did. Faction discovery, uh, fascination discovered. Plate armor could be done, could be done, but uh, ermine cloaks, Renaissance thought. Standing armies, just get it done. Or I could get plate armor, but no, standing armies. But yeah, it's uh, fascinating stuff. You are here. You're a good lad. You're a good lad. But yeah, the key is here. He is. Uh... Huh. Huh. Bloody Temujin. I'll have to pay attention to him. I don't think he's. I don't think he can get actually like anything close to the number of troops he needs to, thre to threaten our empire. But it's, I guess, not impossible. I don't know. I don't know. I I've never actually had to deal with the Mongol invasion before with the Khan of Khans. So with the Genghis Khan. So this is new territory for me. Like most of this campaign, but still. This is very, very fascinating. I must say. Old Hellenic, Old Hellenic. Uh, just, just get it done in here. And you're doing that. You're doing your job. Good, good, good. Well, yeah. Mongolia. Genghis is here. We'll have to watch his career and see what exactly he does. And what? Monster, okay, uh, no, fuck off, don't care. One direct vassal, what happened, who did it, who, who was a stupid, who was a dumbass, who decided to be annoying, grand vassal, who got the crown, who, I swear to fucking god, somebody just became a new vassal, I'll have to deal with this between episodes or something, anyway, like, subscribe, share, check out my Twitter down below, and see ya.